Hello guys, welcome, it is David. Today I've got for you a brand new video. I am going to be showcasing this, like, seed. It's really, really awesome anyway, guys. I mean, it has a, like, floating village, which is, like, really, really cool. So, yeah, I do hope you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to drop a like down below. Can we smash 50 likes, guys? We keep on hitting 50 likes on every video. So, uh, yeah, we might as well keep on hitting that. And, of course, if we get any more, that is even better, guys. Comment down below as well. I do reply to everyone down in the comments. And if you do want to suggest a new video from may or for whenever i will look into them guys i reply to everyone also guys real quick this seed is not brought to you by me this seed is brought to you by toy cat he was the founder or at least that's where i got this video idea from so yeah don't forget to go and check out his channel his channel uh, like link will be in the description you probably already know who he is anyway but if you don't yeah go subscribe to him also guys while we are on the topic of subscriptions don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys it helps out a bunch and it honestly guys like the support that i've been getting off you is amazing keep on subscribing guys it helps out a bunch and also one uploads every day in may means if you subscribe today there's guaranteed to upload tomorrow or if you're subscribing i don't know a little bit later you've got 30 uploads to go and watch and each one i mean hopefully they're good so tell me what you think of them okay guys so let's get on with the video so these are going to be the coordinates where you will be spawning in around also guys don't forget all the coordinates are down below in the description to help you guys out there's not many locations to show on this map but of course you will be waiting a little while until i can show you that floating village because honestly i am leaving the best till last guys but some of the other locations are honestly really really cool and as you can see straight away from spawn there is a village so we're going to jump over to that village Okay guys, so over in this location you do find yourself a sandstone village. Like there is no blacksmith here, however it is kind of like a nice little spot straight from spawn. Just to walk over here, not too much bother. Yeah guys, there is a few caves here as you can see, which is really really cool. But you do need to explore, I don't know, around here because guys, look. There's like caves going through there, like caves and this I, I don't really know what you call this guys like it's literally a circle but it just spawns really weirdly if anyone actually knows the answer to that what does that circle thing do is that really meant to be there i'm not too sure there's also like these really cool like drops in the ground which i find really interesting so you guys you have your village there and you also have a few caves to explore so that is over this part of the map nothing too special guys and i guess it is teasing you into that like sea village that's what i'm gonna call it it's a sea village guys it is teasing you into that as it is now to the sea there's also a little pumpkin thing there and a bit of farming there so yeah pretty cool anyway and let's jump into the next location okay guys so over in this part of the map you will find yourself a witch hut the witch does not seem to be home right now but i don't know if it will be for you guys hopefully it will anyway if you are interested in this type of stuff personally i don't really find the witch huts that too helpful they're just a really cool thing to have in your map just to look at and it's kind of like a little nice house i don't know if you guys want to build anything from it anyway yeah i usually get like a few people tell me dave why do you kind of like feature the witch huts personally i just think i mean it's another structure that spawns in and you don't see them all the time they only spawn in swamps so it's kind of cool anyway so yeah that is over in this location on the map Okay guys, so over this location you will see yourself three beacons. Of course these won't be on your map guys, I just use these to display. Kind of like where everything is. But this is going to be the main one which is open and already mined out for you. So that is in these coordinates right now. And down this hole guys is going to be a really easy access mine shaft guys. Now honestly this is amazing for you guys that want to get your mining kind of stuff. And you also want to get to the strongholds of course they do have the coordinates. And it will be showing you the end portal. But there's really a lot to explore through here. And it's kind of a safe way to get from ravine to ravine. There is a ravine going through here. And I'm sure there's like if your head's think it's no not that way that's a dead end if you head through one of these guys i mean there's probably a spawner here but if you head through one of them it does lead you to another ravine i'm not too sure i probably won't be able to find it now because this always happens in videos but yeah if you really want to get down here the coordinates will be down in the description and they are of course here i just think it's really cool look oh yeah right so it was like there we go here's the other ravine but i mean it's really cool anyway i mean i've got to try and find where i came through now this is going to be a bit of a surge so i'm going to skip forward until i get out of here okay guys so it didn't actually take me too long to get out of there and straight over from here you do have yourself the end portal now we're going to go to here and yeah okay so okay guys so here the coordinates for the end portal is not too far away from the mine shaft however it is really awkward to get to this one so i like honestly guys you really need the coordinates for this and if you don't i really like i don't think you'll be able to get to it because i can show you anyway Look, it's blocked off here. It's in a really weird location. But these are the coordinates for you guys now. These will be in the description, like I said. 
And for me, this one, like this end portal, wasn't really kind of filled in. So tell me down below for you guys, was it filled in? And also a very quick notice, I'm doing this on Xbox One. So if you guys have, like, I don't know, a PlayStation, this seed will still work. You'll still get the floating village. However, the end portal will spawn somewhere else. So if you guys could do me a massive favor for all you PlayStation, like, players, I guess I can call you, can you quickly put down in the comments where you found your end portal? It'll help me out a bunch, and it'll go in my description anyway, because it just helps me out and I don't really own a PlayStation so I can't show you where this will end up but soon guys I will be investing one so uh, yeah I can kind of talk to you people on PlayStation Okay, so not so far away from the end portal, you do have yourself, like, obviously this hole is not going to be here, but if you go down to this coordinates right now, be careful guys as well, it is going to be water, so make sure you do not drown the actual room, but you have yourself that super glitched library. Now, this is really weird guys, it's kind of like cut in half, which I find it really awesome because... I mean, it's awesome, but it's also missing out on one chest, which is going to have all the boxing there for you guys. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, and I can show you what I mean. So, you have, like, half a library, but this wall here just stops the library. Like, there's literally, there's no books behind here, guys. I Honestly, I was checking for ages. There are no books whatsoever, which is really annoying, guys. I mean, it, I would have loved there to be, like, a hidden bookcase. That would be so cool, guys. So the coordinates are here right now to the actual room. And we did get ourselves one chest, which we are, of course, going to get an enchanted book. Bane of Arthropods, uh, Fire Aspect, and Fawns. Not the best. I mean, we're not really looking for them enchantments, but, I mean, guys, this would be so much better if we had these bookcases over there, because we would have got ourselves another chest. Okay, guys, so as we edge closer to that floating village, we do have ourselves a spruce village. It is in the tiger biome. So, yeah, nothing really much to say. I mean, this one does have a door that that guy just jumped out of. There's a library here from the looks of things. However, there's not a blacksmith. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Obviously, I cannot control that. So, guys, yeah, that is in this location right now. And we're going to get into the main thing of the seeds. Yeah, guys, it's what you have been waiting for. It is the floating village. Okay guys, so as you walk through the little woods behind us, you will come to these three little structures, which are really weirdly placed guys, that is in these location kind of coordinates right now, I think this is super awesome guys, this is what you have been waiting for, so you do have yourself a well, you have yourself a library with a librarian in it from the looks of things, and you have yourself just a normal house with a garden or a balcony in this case, I think this is really awesome anyway, and look how the well goes underwater, and so do all the other houses, so you can have yourself an underwater house which is really really cool but anyway yeah guys that is the floating village i have one more thing to show you though so just keep tuned for maybe one more minute and uh, yeah we'll be getting into the outro then but trust me guys stay tuned for this next bit because if you guys are into i don't know it's kind of like sky islands then stay tuned Okay guys, so really awesomely, if we travel over here, you will find this kind of really cool floating island. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a floating island, guys. So if you are into Sky Islands, this is the perfect thing for you. However, you will need to set yourself up in creative. Give yourself a bit of sand, uh, water, and a chest. But you've got yourself a huge tree. And it is honestly, guys, it's placed in such an awesome location. You're just surrounded by this really nice scenery. I think it's awesome. Anyway, so these are the coordinates for the exact thing. But guys, come on. If you walk near this anyway, you're going to see it. All your friends will see it. It'll look really cool if you're living on it. So yeah, guys, we are going to end up the video on this really cool seed. Do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop a like down below. Comment what you think and any future uploads you will want. Also, guys, subscribe for daily uploads within May. So yeah, if you subscribe now, you will see a bunch of uploads uploaded yesterday and a bunch of uploads uploaded today and tomorrow hope you enjoy this video anyway guys let's get into the outro okay.